Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Monday. I don't even know. Is it almost? Is it almost uh, September? And it's August thirty first, dude. I'm like, this morning's not a good morning. It's just I'm just exhausted. I didn't sleep that good. Yeah, Mondays kind of suck. <laughs> not gonna lie, Mondays just kind of suck. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna what I'm drinking here. Let's kill the music. Vic, what's up, buddy? How a bachelor? How you doing, Stringer? Who else we got in here? My family, Wade three. I think I said Mike already, but hey, let's uh, let's put this thing on. Let's get the music off here. Oh, the music is so good, isn't it? I don't know why I love this intro song. What do you guys think, right? So, YouTube would tell you that you're not supposed to run these long intro intros because people will just click off your video. But I love the intros. I don't know. I can't help it. I mean, not too long. JP says, breaking news, Mondays suck. I agree with you, buddy. I'll tell you what we're drinking here in a second. All right. Let's see. Kill the music. Killing it. We're going to table cam. So this is what we're drinking. We're drinking this banned coffee. It's supposed to be the strongest coffee in the world. The world's strongest coffee. I don't know about that. Let's see. I don't know why. My camera's having some hard times. Uh, a hard time... Uh, Getting focused here. Let's see. I don't know why I can't get it focused. And I'll need Stringer on that one. All right. So it says sustainable, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that doesn't say anything. Uh, it says banned and it looks all scary. So that's cool. Hey, it's in Irvine, California. I used to live close to there. Um, yeah, it just says the world's strongest coffee. It doesn't really. Oh, all right. Hold on. One cup. One cup. Your blood is. Uh, God, you can't read that. What the hell? Hold on. All right. There we go. Let me zoom in here. All right, now we got it. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Whoa, crazy zoom cam on a Monday. Wow. All right, this is the world's most caffeinated coffee ever, like ever, ever. I don't know. It says one cup, your blood is caffeinated, 24 hours of work in just 30 minutes. I don't know about that, guys. It seems strong, but I don't know if it's that strong. Yeah, no, yeah, how the bachelor says, no wonder why I have anxiety issues. It's true. I love my coffee. But anyways, I don't know. We'll see. But by the way, this is cool. So by the way, if you have anything you want to talk about, put it in the chat because I want to talk about whatever that is. But check this out. This, my friends, if I can ever get my camera up high enough to see this. You know, Stringer, you need to, you need to recommend a camera mount to me. This is nonsense. What is this, amateur hour over here? I mean, come on. I'm Retro Ralph. I'm joking. Um, all right, so this this right here, check this out. So this is actually a, this is Final Fight, the PCB Final Fight for the arcade. Um, St Scarlet Sprites recommended this thing to me. It's by a company called, I think it's Lions 3 or something like that. But check it out. This is actually an arcade board that is uh, put into this, like, sandwiched in between this plexi to keep it protected. Is that not freaking awesome? Like, look how cool that is. And if you look through the... Let me see if I can zoom in. If you look through... Clearly, I'm having an issue with zooming today. But if you look, see, it's a Final Fight PCB. Like, how freaking cool is that? Like, this is, this is like... This is badass. I don't know. I'm so excited about that. I mean, it just kind of makes it look kind of modern and cool but hey put your questions in the chat because i kind of wanted today to be more about please for the love of god music don't go back i'm pressing the button please for the love of god yes yes there's no music we did it we finally did it how many episodes did it take before we did that like 700 uh the case itself was 60 so it's a little high but you know i i i'm gonna put these on just the pcbs i plan on keeping and preserving but yeah, throw some, did you watch the, so Dreamcast Kyle does have a question. Our first question of the day, Ralph, did you watch High Score on Netflix? Um, so check it out. I'll tell you in a second here. Brad, I'm going to get to the Dark Soft. I promise. I promise. It's been, I, I know, I, sh I should go get it. I'll go get it in a little while. It's right there. If you look right, see right, see right, you can't really see it because my, because we're doing the bokeh effect, but um, I think that's how, what you call it. Uh, where like the camera's blurred in the background. It's all with all the rage in the YouTube community, man. Like it's totally about the blurry background, dude. Uh, but anyways, so you know you got to keep up with the Joneses on YouTube. But this is, uh, yeah, this is like a blurry little black background. But that is it. That is it. Okay, let me talk. Let me ask. Let me answer Kyle's question first. He said, "Did you watch the high score? Uh, high score on Netflix? I have to actually 
I had to actually like organize my questions here. All right, I'm gonna go Kyle first. Dreamcast Cal. Cal, hi Cal. Thank you, Retro Retro Brady eighty three. Thanks for the super chat, buddy. I've never seen you on the channel before, so that's pretty cool. So welcome. All right, where's Dreamcast Kyle's question? Hey Cal. All right, uh, did you watch High Score on Netflix? Thoughts? Okay, so I only watched. Uh, the, uh, the beginning of the, uh, so I'm not watching them in series, obviously, but I only watched the beginning of the Capcom one and I was blown away. It was, um, arcade, um, I always forget Corey's damn channel, super arcade heroes, arcade, whatever. <laughs> it was on arcade heroes. There it is. I always forget Corey's, the name of his channel. Cause he's got like a couple different things cause he logs in as a different, anyway, whatever I'm going off track. So I watched just the Capcom beginning of the Capcom one and then something got sidetracked and I couldn't watch the rest, but it was really cool that uh, where they were showing like the areas, like how he got inspired by certain places um, that ended up being the backdrops of the game. So I was like pretty excited about that. But that's the only one I watched so far. So uh, I, I'm going to I know I'm going to like it. I just haven't got it all, all into it yet. All right. What's the best Miss Pac-Man still not opened for pre-order? Uh, oh, what's the best buy? What's up with the best buy Miss Pac-Man? I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I'm I'm actually like I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about one up because I'm kind of like, dude, obviously I'm a supporter of the company and everything, but I'm so done with trying to figure out like pre-orders and SKUs and whatever. Like, it's just kind of annoying at this point. And I don't even like I'm just like, whatever. I'm, I'm sick of asking because, you know, they have the they have reasons for not being able to tell. But some of them I don't really fully understand. Look, I don't I'm not a buyer for retail. So I have no idea. Maybe this is all normal stuff. And if you buy in retail, you're like, yeah, cool. That makes total sense. But for the from a general consumer's perspective, we just see it as 80 billion SKUs of the same product. I don't know. So just being honest with you. All right, Brad, where's the Dark Soft? <laughs> the Dark Soft is back there. So for those of you that don't know, what the Dark Soft mod is, it's not, it's not uh basically this is a CPS one board. So Capcom, as they moved generations, they had CPS1, CPS2. Um, CPS2, you can take the bottom A board and put a brand new, like, modified B board on top. Well, you put the B board, and then you modify the B board. Basically, you turn it into a multi-cade. So basically, you can load all of your CPS2 games on a single board and flash it every time. So you have this little LCD screen. And you can say, I want to play this game. And then it will load that game down to the arcade board. The cool thing about it is you're not doing any emulation. You're running it all on original hardware. It's a really, really cool thing. Uh, I just haven't had a chance to make a video on it yet because I kind of wanted to put it in my arcade, in like in my actual Street Fighter 2 cabinet, my real one, not the one up. Uh, but anyways, we'll get to it eventually. All right, I'm trying to see what we got here. All right, where's the Dark Soft? I already answered that. Uh, when are you having John D on again? I'm ready for the remaining cabs to be released. Dude, Vic, that's from Vic Vicious 75. Dude, I'm ready too. I've been telling him like for weeks, I'm like, where's the pinball? Like we want the information on the freaking pinball. Like, I don't know. I just, I feel like here's the thing. I told you guys what I do for my job. I'm, I, I work in competitive intelligence, right? So we're sitting there evaluating our competitors. If I'm one up and I, I know that the prototype exists. I, well, I know that not the prototype, but I know one of the first assembled ones exists. Like, you should be marketing the hell out of it right now because all you're doing is you have you have an opening for your competition to swoop in right now. Like you need to be why I look really weird doing this. Like, like what is this? What is this move? Sometimes I do weird things on camera and then I see them. Um, I yeah, that's weird. I see them after the fact because of the delay. That, that's really I wish I didn't do that, but I already did. So I can't really do anything about it. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what that is. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. OK. What else is on the docket here? Yeah, all right, everybody. What else is going on? All right, we got Vic Vicious seventy five for a two dollars super chat. Thanks, buddy. Can you get John D on to get the new cab update? You know, I'm sad to say it looks like we're gonna get no cab updates. All right, thanks for the super chat, bud. No, I really do appreciate the super chat, but I really don't have any answers for you on that. It really sucks. Okay, what else do we got here? Uh, I'm having a hard time following the questions, but um. There is a bunch more. Maybe throw it back in there because I'm, uh, I'm, they're scrolling so fast that I don't have time. But I wanted to talk about one thing today. That's it. There was one thing I had, and then you guys can. How much money do you I need to have saved here? All of the one-up cabs, Polymega, Polybius, new Xbox, and PlayStation. Holy crap! So the Garage Gamer. Right, that's a great topic. Let's just go there. Oh, thanks, Stringer. I appreciate the camera mount solution thing. 
Uh, one stipulation, I have to be able to mount it to the wall because I don't really have anywhere else to mount it. So that's why I've had a hard time. Yeah, Garage Gamer, I feel you, dude. There's too much retro stuff coming out all at once. It's like you got... But uh, yeah, it's a lot, man. That's all I can say. There's a lot. And um, I don't know. I find myself in a in a in a pickle right now where like I want to I want to buy it some stuff I want to buy because I want it and stuff some stuff I want to buy because I want to evaluate it now if the MVSX guy comes through I think you forgot MVSX on the list so add that to your list <laughs> but um if the MV if the MVSX guy comes through with that unit they're doing something that I haven't seen these arcade companies do He's saying he's going to send me an evaluation unit, which I get to test and then send back. That's cool because typically I buy it with my own money. Like, yes, there's been two one-ups that I've got uh, that they paid for, you know, that they got for me, you know, for evaluation purposes that I got to keep. It was Burger Time and NBA Jam. So that was really cool. That was awesome. But um, it took about, you know, a year and a half of buying cabs and, and, and really marketing for them before that happened. But I'm super grateful that it did. And I, by the way, I have no expectations that it's going to continue to happen. I just think it was, you know, burger time. I don't know why they picked, picked me for burger time, but they, they, they did. That was really cool. Uh, and NBA jam was really cool too. So I don't know that, but that's the thing. Most, most of the time I have to buy it just like you guys have to buy it. And it's starting to add up. Like it's getting crazy. And I was looking through my, one of the topics I wanted to talk about was the fact that I don't have any space left, really. Like, guys, it, I don't, I wish I had the, I don't have the hater cam on right now, but I wish I could put the hater cam up in my loft over here because, dude, I have all of this stuff um, in my loft. Like, I, you, you have, the, I have the stuff in here. I have stuff in my loft. I have stuff downstairs. Like, I, I'm, I'm, in all fairness, if I'm Kim, I'm not really that happy with me. I mean, she is, but <laughs> she says she is, but I'm taking up way too much space in the house. Like, it's not really fair. Like, it's, it, w well, it was worse before she moved in, though. I don't know if you guys ever saw the house tour thing. I think that was, like, right when she moved in. My dining room had stuff. My, the bedroom had stuff. See, Dreamcast Kyle has, his wife lets him take over the basement. See, I don't have, we don't have basements here in Arizona in most of these houses, so... All right. Hey, Ralph, question. When building a full-size arcade cabinet, how do I choose the cable? I see something like 0 0.110 and 0 0.187. Not sure what that is. So that's going to be your, um, that's going to be how big the terminal is at the end of your micro switch. So you need to know that. So Sanwa, <coughs> Sanwa, excuse me, Sanwa is going to be your 0 0.110. Uh, so if you're going to do Sanwa switches, that's what, you, that's what you want. If you want traditional arcade micro switches, then you're going to go with the larger size. So just know, um, I'll, I'll, ah, shoot, I have buttons. I normally have stuff handy. Let me see. If I have stuff handy, I'll pull it out. Uh, normally, I have buttons and crap everywhere, but I don't think I do right now. And I'm wearing a Schmedium shirt, so there's no way I'm getting up. So here's your, uh, actually, I do have, I have, ah, oh, man, that's a good question, too. So Funny thing is, I was almost going to this morning mod a control panel on this coffee talk and just do it, but I thought it would be cool for it to be a regular video. So see that, see how those terminals are small? These little, little guys? That's your smaller size terminal. Let me, let me see if I can... Uh, there we go. Those are your small guys. And then there's larger. There's a larger terminal. Oh, my phone's going off. But I'll, um, I'll go get them before the... Before the these, are, these are just like, you know, standard... And these are those kit buttons that come in like the cheap kits. But all right, let's go back to the main camera. All right, let me see. Did I miss anything? Ralph's house has arcades placed all around like house plants. It's true. It's true. It's not good. It is. It is like arcade hoarders. It's gotten a little bit better, though. It was really bad at one point. I know you're not a big at games guy, but have you seen the Legends Gamer Pro? And if so, what are your thoughts on it? So I'm getting, believe me, I see. See, I'll pr not a big at games guy, but I did order it. Right. So I paid for my at games Gamer Pro. Mm, it's weird, dude, right? Because let's, let's, let's just say if you wanted a, if it was going to be your only arcade in your whole house, right? You've got a bunch of choices when it comes to fight stick kind of stuff, like, you know, dual fight stick stuff. There's a billion Pandora's boxes, a billion of them, like so many, it's ridiculous. And they've got, you know, 
Obviously not not licensed ROMs on it, but there's a ton of those out there. So like, do you go that route or do you go <laughs> do you go the at games gamer route? I don't know. It's it's if you if you're if you're into their their user interface and all the things that you have access to there, you will be able to play play more modern games via Steam if you wanted to do that through my game room or whatever the hell it's called these days. So uh, I can't tell you how many times I wear this shirt and people think I have tattoos on my arms, but uh, it's an old shirt. It's very, very, I was, I was rushing to get a shirt and I grabbed it and it is extra, it's a medium, so it's a small medium. Yeah, it doesn't look so good around here, but as long as the camera's like here up, I'm golden. So that's why I'm not getting up. <laughs> so yeah, I don't even remember what the questions, oh, the, the Legends Gamer, I think there's just so many options for that kind of, yeah, it's my baby Gap shirt. There's just so many questions. Oh man, there's so many things going on. Cafe Bustillo? Get some Cafe Bustillo. Bustillo! Yeah, this is the shirt you wear out wear when you don't work out. I'm all over the place this morning. I'm sorry, guys. I, someone was asking me something else, and I already forgot what it was. What were we just talking about? Someone remind me? Chris, what's up? Thanks for the super chat, buddy. He says, what are the odds of a Sega shooter one-up trying to plan ahead? Well... You know, obviously, I can't. I don't know anything on that, but my guess would be that that would be in. I mean, if I was, if I, if I had access to their roadmap and could see it, I would guess there's got to be like, House of the Dead has to be on there somewhere, you know, or uh, or Time Crisis. Like those games have to be on their roadmap, just because why would you not? Those are such huge shooter titles. So uh, I would guess yes, but I'm thinking that's a ways out. Just because some of those games require a little bit more power than what they currently have. So I'm going to guess that. So, all right, let's see. Eminem said, my my house came... It, it's so hard to say M-M, because is it just M-M? Because, like, naturally you want to say M&M, &M, but then um, that's not really M-M. So I'm just going to say M-M, -M, but I always, I always say it fast and then feel stupid. All right, my house came with a 1,200 square foot game room. What? With a wet bar in the middle and two bathrooms, one on each side. What? Are you serious? That's freaking awesome. Someone, ha so the house you bought had that? That's freaking insane. I would love that. All right, you were talking about morning poops. No, I was not. I was not talking about that. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I just, I, I don't know. Like, you, I don't know how you plan around one up anymore. See, when it was small and niche, it was like they had an, an amount of cabinets that anybody could buy. But now it's like, move into the market and keep pumping the cabinets out it's just too hard for anyone to, to could you imagine though if they did send you like let's say you were someone that in the news like a cnet or something like that yeah your cnet you probably have well i don't know they're probably not in their offices now but they probably have like large offices they could probably pump these cabinets and i'm sure they probably donate them or do something with them afterwards they probably don't keep them all in their office but like i don't have the space for that even if they did say hey i'm gonna send you every single cabinet there's no space like i don't i'm I'm out of space so i think that's gonna be everyone's problem not not just the people that want to review it and stuff like that i just hope that they come around to a couple different concepts but i don't really think they're going to like i would love it um oh someone asked if i'm getting the t-shirt that came with the gamer pro i didn't know there was a t-shirt that came came with the gamer pro but uh what would be your first choice for a all in one. I don't know what you mean, Wade. Thank you for the super chat. Don't don't super chat me again. Just put the question in there. I don't know what you mean. What would be your first choice for an all in one? Meaning like if I only if I could buy a cabinet that did everything like a multicade? Just clarify that really quick. Um Zach says, "What are your thoughts on the size difference between the At Games pinball which has a 32-inch screen compared to the one up?" Um All right, let me make sure I I want to get to Wade's question. Now that I got some clarification and then and then if I forget, remind me on the pinball question, Zach, and I appreciate the question. It's good. Um, obviously, a big sc bigger screen on a virtual pinball machine is awesome, you know, uh, but 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 I think for a lot of people, well, for me, I want the pack in titles to be good. Right. And I've, I I actually I think I know what's going to be on the arcade one up. Those are Zen pinball machine or pinball games. They're really good. Uh, I don't know how they like they actually are optimizing it for one ups hardware. So I don't it's hard to tell right now because I don't know what you're going to get with either one almost like one. I know what the games the games are going to be Zen and Zen's great. 
The other one's going to have Farsight Studios pack in. I'm not as big of a fan of Farsight Studios. Like, if I were to take all my biases away and say, look, I don't dislike at games, um, just look at them from a product standpoint. One is going to, you know, potentially have the ability to bring your own games to it. But with pinball, that's hard. So I want to make sure they, un they I need to figure out what they're going to do there. Because I'll tell you this, no, I don't, it has nothing to do with at games. Streaming pinball is not a thing. It's z not a thing. Zero zilch not. Like, and the reason why is because any bit of latency in pinball makes it suck. Even a little, little tiny bit. It makes it suck. Now, if you never played a good virtual pinball machine before, you wouldn't, wouldn't know. But I'm telling you, streaming pinball should not be the solution. Like, don't buy that if streaming pinball is the answer. The pack-in games need to be good. If I'm, if I'm looking at the products from their, their, without modding them, just straight up. Like, Toy Shock, I could give a crap about those Gottlieb games. So that, that system, I don't care. You could give me PCB version 3, whatever. That, that's, like, off over here somewhere for me. I don't care about that. It's like a toy that's trying to... Go, it, it's, it, that's, that thing's junk, in my opinion. Toy Shock junk. But At Games has a good chance to make a good pinball machine because Farsight Studios knows what they're doing. Uh, and believe me, sorry if you like the Gat Gottlieb titles. I just really don't. And then And they were the kings of pinball at one point. But the games they decided to pack in weren't great. So if they picked good, Farsight Studio picks good games, optimizes it for one uh, uh, arcade or at games as hardware, and Zen does a good job. You're gonna have a hard time choosing. I think it will pay, maybe it will maybe go to um, uh, you know it'll maybe turn into a war of what one has the best pack in games, right? Because the screen will bigger screen. If you're planning on modding it, the bigger screen's gonna gonna obviously be, you know, maybe maybe it's gonna. Uh, change your choice all right uh um let's see what else we got here <laughs> sorry i went off on a tangent there i'm pretty passionate about pinball uh pinball just you don't you want pinball done right right and it's hard because to bring something that's very high end and try to make it like uh a really good price point is hard to do, right? Because you have to sacrifice something. And you know they don't have the ability, neither one of these companies, At Games or, or Arcade One, have the ability to put a high-end PC in there. So what they've got to do is optimize pinball tables for lower-end processors. And so you're, you're not going to get a, as good a graphical experience, right? It's not going to be as high resolution. But if done right, could be pretty good. So if you guys, have, if you guys want to know what a low-end pinball machine would play like, go check out my Sharpen video. So Sharpen actually runs all their stuff on Android, and it's the Android versions of Farsight Studios and Zen. It actually is pretty good to whet your appetite for pinball, but it's pretty expensive too, and it's a tabletop. So if you don't have space, that kit is pretty cool. Uh, and you can load whatever you want. So if there's downloadable tables on Android, you can download them. I mean, you have to pay for them, obviously, but so it could be kind of cool. Um, guys, I don't want to talk about, I'm sorry, there's some super chats in there about like, other YouTubers and stuff. I don't want to talk about that. That has no, that's like it, it honestly adds no value to anything. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to highlight super chats that are talking about other people because uh, there's just there's no point in having that conversation. Like this show is to talk about fun stuff with you guys, and the drama stuff is like like yeah, obviously in life you come across drama things every now and then, and every now and then you decide whether you're going to address them or not. But I do this show to to bring happiness, like joy, happiness. We have fun to talk about that stuff. You know, there's no point. So I'm sorry that I'm not going to address any of that stuff. All right. What uh, what are we going to do here? All right. Neo Geo SNK doing their own cab since Nintendo is ignoring one up. Wonder if they'll release their own three quarter scale cab. I don't know. I just don't think Nintendo needs to. Right. Like. If you're Nintendo, do you need to? You know, do you care? Like, oh, thanks. How to bachelor. Appreciate that, buddy. Like, do you do you care? Like the um, <laughs> yeah, we can talk about Justin all you want. That's why <laughs> he's like my best friend. You can talk about him all you want. <laughs> yeah, definitely. There's things I don't. There's things I don't touch. Try to do no drama. Definitely no politics. No religion. Just because that's gonna cause conflict. Those are all like strong opinion things, right? Yeah, you just gotta. You just got to keep it, you keep, keep it cool, man. You know what I mean? So that, that's kind of what it is. And believe me, I, I can get hot headed sometimes, but, uh, but it's definitely not anything you guys want to see. 
So, uh, yeah, it, but it takes a lot. You have to push to get me mad. Literally, like no joke. Like I can take it for a really long time before I get mad. I don't know how you guys are, but like I kind of let stuff roll off. And I wasn't like that because I used to live on I grew up on the East Coast and I felt like it was a little bit more of a uh, I used to have like a little more of a rough exterior and definitely like a little bit more rough around the edges. I think I speak my I think I'd say like things maybe that weren't necessarily like I don't know. It wasn't until I moved to California that I I like realized not to sweat the small stuff. You know what I mean? Like there's small things that can like. I don't know. You could get here. I, I used to get irritated about the dumbest things like. If I was in a parking lot and someone door dinged my car, I would have lost my mind like, oh, my God. But it's like it's a freaking car, you know, like, yes, you might love your car. I love cars. So I do love my car. But like at the end of the day, like, is it worth me getting angry and pissed off and rah, like not really? You know, we'll just get it fixed, you know, and, and it sucks. It's an inconvenience. And those things suck. But I used to not be able to. <laughs> I dinged Chef Day. I'll admit it. I was in the parking lot and I'm the one that dinged Chef Day's Camaro. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, no, that stuff is like those things don't like there's real things in, in life that, that are worth getting frustrated over. But door dings are not one of them. You know what I mean? Um, but it took a long time. I did not. I was not like that. I used to be a little bit more hot headed and things used to bother me. And then I kind of like I let it go. And I'm still learning. I'm still learning because there are times where I've still you know, not bad, but uh, yeah, anyways, I don't know how we got on that topic of door dings. I think I brought that up. So yeah, on the Nintendo thing. That's funny that Vic is like, Vic is like, hey, dude, I know I know homeboy has some ADD, so I'm just going to bring the question back. <laughs> oh, hold on. Now, no, Overtime Gaming's like, well, hey, man, what if your T2 was digged? Now that I wouldn't tolerate. <laughs> you want to see me pissed off? You just ding my T2. <laughs> no, no, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get upset about that. All right, all right. Hold on. <laughs> there was a question in there that was good, Vic. Sorry, it's the second time you asked. All right. I don't think Nintendo has any reason to do it. Now, people say Nintendo has the infrastructure. I, Nintendo doesn't make arcade cabinets, so I don't think they do have the infrastructure. They could probably go out and you know figure out a third party to make it. Right? They could go over to China, go find some place that already makes things like this, brand it Nintendo. I don't know. I don't think they have any interest in doing it. They're making like, they're like, like they're making so much money right now. Why? Like, I just, I don't see Nintendo ever wanting to do it. I don't think they care. I think Nintendo's like, cool, don't care. Who's Arcade 1-Up? Yeah, no, don't care. Like, I don't think they give a rat's ass about Arcade 1-Up. Uh, but why should they? They're like printing money. Like, they don't have any reason to. It'd be cool for us as fans, but I seriously don't think they care. I think they could give a rat's ass about arcade one up or three quarter scale arcades or any of that stuff. So anyways, you know, it is what it is. But there was another question there. Oh, so Killer Instinct. I don't even know who owns Killer Instinct anymore because it was like, what was it rare? And then I don't know. I don't even know who the hell owns that. That would be cool, though. If So if there was any likelihood of one up doing Killer Instinct, I would say it's this. So you guys, did you guys ever play the remake of? Ooh, the remake of Killer Instinct that I think came out. Is it on the 360 or the Xbox One? I can't remember, but it's on the, if you go to the store, it's you can buy it. It's awesome. And um, Code Mystics did it. So maybe there's a chance that you could see some kind of, but that, that game's going to require some power though. So that's the thing. I don't know. That, that would be a tough one. But yeah, sorry to get all aggressive on the, on the, uh, I just don't see, I just don't see, Nintendo doing that. All right, what else we got here? All right, the remake was awesome. I did a video on the remake. Well, I didn't do a video on the remake. I did it on my, I played it on my Beast cabinet. Uh, and it's F to P. F to P. Why do I not know what F to P is? F to P. F to P? Can you spell it out? Acronyms sometimes get me there. Oh, free to play. <laughs> I'm like F to P. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, what the hell's F to P? All right, cool. Free to play. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Um. All right. So what else, man? Uh. uh Mike says I was not clear. Uh. He's like, are you sure that Nintendo doesn't give a rat's ass? Yes, I don't think they care. Um. I think they're like, yeah, cool. Um. There's like a dude in a in uh. You know what was the was it uh was it one of the which duck is it? Ah, crap. 
is it, no, it's not Scrooge McDuck. What, like I'm going back to the Disney characters where like he's got the vault full of money. Was that Scrooge? It wasn't Scrooge because Scrooge didn't have a vault. Who was that? What was the duck that had the vault? I feel like Nintendo's like, I feel like Nintendo's like backstroking in their in their <laughs> in their vault with money, and they're like, oh, uh, oh, he hello, uh, oh, who are you? Who are you? Uh, oh, hey guys, I'm uh, from Arcade One Up. I was wondering if you want to do a three quarter scale arcade. A three quarter what now? A, a three quarter scale arcade. Yeah, there are these arcades that people can put in their house for like five hundred bucks. Are you guys interested? Uh. <coughs> If you haven't noticed, uh, oh, sorry, you're stepping on a, a goblet that's worth uh, $2.5 million. What, what was it again, you say? A three-quarter... Three, uh, so you, you want me, Nintendo, to make a, a baby cabinet? Is that, is that what you want? Oh, yeah, we were kind of thinking maybe you guys could do, like, Donkey Kong or something. <laughs> no! No! It'd be something like that. <laughs> something like that. I don't know if it would go exactly like that, but it'd be something like that. And I don't know why Nintendo sounds like I don't know why. I don't know why Nintendo has a British accent and why why Arcade One of sounds like Patrick from SpongeBob. Oh hey guys, um uh this is uh David from Arcade One Up. He doesn't sound like that. Let me not use David. I'll say it. Oh, uh, this is so and so uh from Arcade One Up and um I just wanted to ask you guys, uh, would you be interested in making baby Donkey Kongs? Uh, uh what now? A baby Donkey Kong? <laughs> You're so funny! <laughs> Why don't you get out of here right now and get off my damn goblet? That thing's worth 6.5 million! Yeah, get out of here. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, we'll just go to, uh, mm, I don't know, we'll go to Atari, see if we can do a pole position. How's that sound? <laughs> Pole position, that's great. Everyone loves that one. <laughs> All right, something like that. I'm done now. I cannot do a Japanese accent. I think I probably shouldn't for for other reasons. <laughs> the coffee is kicking in now. It definitely is. Crap, I gotta get to work soon. I know, how much caffeine does this have? I am feeling pumped right now. I'm feeling so pumped. What else are we gonna talk about, guys? Give me some topics, let's do this! Come on, yes, yes, yes! All right, let's do it. I know, I need to teach soon. Actually, I don't have to teach. I don't have Tanner this morning. All right, whoa, Brad, mega super chat. He says, hey, Ralph, I love these morning streams, but I'm always missing out on a bit of them because I'm at work and can't pause or go back. Everything about changing those to allow buffering. Yes, I need to do that, Brad. So. Brad, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna even do it right now. I think I can implement it midstream. This is something that Justin has told me I'm a moron on. Justin likes to tell me that. So all your good friends tell you when you're being morons. And Justin's like, yeah, bud, uh, you're being dumb. Ralph, you're just stupid, okay? Yeah, as your friend, I'm just gonna tell you, you're dumb. Yeah, he does that sometimes, it's fine though. But that's what your good friends will tell you when you're dumb, right? He's like, yeah, Ralph, I thought about what you said the other day, and it's stupid. But thanks, Brad, for the super chat. I appreciate it. If you re if you refresh, you it may let you pause. So try it. I said enable DVR mode, so it should let you pause. Yeah, I gotta do that. I'll do that from now on. All right, let's back get back to the questions. With this much caffeine, people at work are going to hate you. Probably, probably. But they need to get a cup of this. I have the link in the description. This stuff is good. All right, will you think about playing more games with us? Yes, I want to do that. It's just been weird. I've got all this like stuff. I need something to calm me down right now. I think I'm a little too pumped up. Why can't you see Ralph's shoulders? Oh. Hold on, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna stand like this. Hey guys, this is Retro Ralph, coming to you live from my studio here in Phoenix, Arizona. I look like I'm a little awkward right now, but it's because I'm trying to correct my posture. Do you guys like this posture? Does it look weird to you? To sit like this? Hmm? Does it? Really? Oh. oh, this is awkward for you? Are you gonna click away from the video now? Because I'm sitting like this? Is this awkward? Yeah. I like it. It totally corrects my posture. Let me fix my neck real quick. There we go. Alright, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this stuff is crazy shit. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Wade three. Thank you for the super chat. He says, "You ever play your Yar Kong? What? 
You ever play your Yi Yar Kung Fu old school fighter? What? Yi Yar Kung Fu? You have to be putting that wrong, or I'm just really bad at <laughs> saying it. I appreciate the super chat, Wade. You're going to have to. Oh, what was that? You're going to have to shoot me an email. Shoot me an email at retroralph1980 at uh, gmail.com. There's no aspartame in this, bud. Uh, but uh, yeah. Yeah, shoot me an email over there because I have no idea what game you're talking about. I know the game Kung Fu, but I don't know what Yai or it sounds like you're talking. It sounds like you've mixed a Kung Fu game and a and a and a pirate game together or something. I don't know. OK, what else we got? Just play gamer says you smoke weed, homie. I'm not answering that, but no. I don't know. Maybe no, I'm just kidding. All right. Uh. Are you sure that's coffee and not crack? It's coffee, dude. It's just kicking in. Uh, and Mike says that's not a real game, you moron. Uh, are you going to have a T2 unboxing? Oh, heck yeah, I am. Oh, heck yeah. Hell, of course. No no doubt at all. Uh, Commodore 64. Actually, the funny thing is, so Jeff Rainwater just talked about Commodore 64. I pro Then I probably have played it because I was a big Commodore 64 guy. Hobby Hands, thanks for the super chat, bud. Uh, don't send, don't send weed to the P.O. box. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so I just bought the, you know, the full size, I guess it was only released in Europe. They made a full size reproduction of, um, of the Commodore 64. And I didn't know that. So I thought they just had the little baby one, which I have, but I have a real Commodore 64 in storage. I think I showed it on a stream at one point with Justin and I. But uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, kind of getting back into Commodore. It's just, dude, here's the thing. There's just too many things. There's just too many things right now. But uh, how about a T2 welcome home live stream when you when you get it? Yeah, dude, it, I'm going all out for T2. I know I'm going to plan. I'm going to film it when it comes off the truck. We're going to unbox it together. Oh, dude, if T2 comes on the wedding day, that would suck so bad because I wouldn't be home to receive it. So... <laughs> Oh, man. Arizona Arcade Hero says Maximum Force has got to get the boot. I don't know, dude. That's a tough one. My son really likes playing Area 51. All right, hold on. Vic Vicious, 75. Thanks for the super chat. Wrong. E.R. Kung Fu was an arcade cap. I got to look this up. Why is it? It sounds like you guys are making it up. Hold on. E.I.E.R.? What, what the heck are we talking about here? I. I. I R <laughs> Kung Fu. Oh wait, it does show up. Oh shoot. Uh no, I've never played that before. It's in the arcade archives. But it looks awesome. It looks kind of cool. I feel like I have definitely maybe played this. I don't know. I played a lot of Commodore 64 games, but it looks like it was it was ported. It just says it was ported to home computers. Yeah, it was. It was on the Commodore 64. Okay. I'll, I'll have to go look. I, it'll maybe come in. It'll bring back memories or something. I don't know. Oh, man. <sighs> okay. So it was a real game. What else we got? Because I, I got about two or three more minutes. Do you think Attack, Attack from Mars Pinball would be better since it's classic tables versus the Marvel? Um... I don't know, guys, because I don't know what they're going to have on it. I really don't. I don't know what they're going to have on their cabinets because th there is a um, attack from Mars. Um, yeah, on Zen, but there's only like three games in that pack, I think, so that it's not going to be just those three games. I don't know, Vic. He's asking about the Star Wars pinball. I don't know, dude. That's the thing. Like, I don't know why this like I, I got to I got to say, like, I talked to John D pretty frequently i just think they're taking too damn long like i it's weird to me that that like they did them they're gonna they've said numerous times they're gonna release all three but like start giving the details now it doesn't make sense like you're gonna be buying them in the next couple months probably like it doesn't make sense to not know anything about the thing that everyone wants or it could be a strategy that they're just trying to keep the hype going but at some point you as i think there's a there's a balance between not giving people information to keep them excited a little bit like oh there's this anticipation and then hey zen how's it going buddy and then like taking too long like there is a part where you take too long it's like okay we need information now like we're 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 at the cusp 
We're we're right there. We're, this is like the point of we're we're climbing this mountain. Here's the point of I'm 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 kind of getting annoyed. So you better tell me something soon. Like we're here, we're here. We're we're gonna either teeter and get like super aggravated, or actually no. Would we go higher on the aggravation? All right, that this access is like the aggravation cycle, and here's where they start to satisfy us with information. We're like we're crossing over the point. We're not happy right now. We're like. Mm. Give us the info. So that's what I have to say about that. We're at that point. Give us the information. We need it now. <sighs> I'm doing geometry now. I'm like, yeah, there's an X axis and a Y axis. And if we, uh, all right, so check this out. So in order for us to figure out where we are on the aggravation cycle with Arcade 1-Up, we're going to need to divide aggravation by time. I don't know, I'm just making stuff up. And then what we're going to get as a result is the percentage of aggravation that we're at right now. Now, if we hit a number of 50 or higher, it is time to release the information. If not, we will continue to get more and more aggravated. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Just go 88 miles per hour. We'll go into the future. We'll build a damn time machine. We'll go figure it out. We'll see what happens, right? We'll go see what happens. I don't know. It is, it is getting annoying, though, right now. Like, I got to tell John. I'm going to text John right now. I'm going to be like, because he doesn't watch any of my stuff, really. I have to tell him to watch it. He doesn't usually watch it. Watch, he's probably watching for the first time in a long time this morning. I, don't, I think he's a late, I think he gets up late, I think. I'm not sure. All right, Arcade One Up Pinball coming to GameStop. That's awesome. I haven't checked the GameStop websites. Are, are there any, uh, is there any updates on the GameStop website? I haven't really looked at it in a little while. The GameStop. Oh, whoop, that's not it. I'm going to look at the GameStop real quick, and then I got to go, because um, I would like to take a shower before before work. Oh my gosh, why won't it come up? www.thecamestop.com. Oh wow, they're advertising for the Polybius. This is no hoax. We have Polybius in our hands. I haven't looked in a couple days. Oh wow, and they're even, they're even promoting my video. What a cool company to do that. They even have a Polybius t-shirt. Dude, this place is like no joke. By the way, I want to let you know that this is a completely fan-created site. I have zero to do with it. I actually don't know when you order a shirt and stuff... <laughs> I don't even know who gets the, like, I don't know who gets a profit for it or anything. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> All right, Ralph doesn't know this, but 1UP Weekly will have a lunchtime live stream today. We will? What? Wait, what? We are? About what? Did something happen that we need to, that we need to talk about? Oh, okay. Thanks, Justin. So, by the way, I kind of thought that the Polybius thing was going to have more of a reaction from people. But maybe it's just too nerdy, geeky arcade stuff, and maybe a lot of people don't care. But I mean, they're making decent money on the Kickstarter so far. They're like over halfway funded, so it's really cool. Um, maybe it's because it doesn't have a game or whatever. Who knows? But yeah, I wanted to sh what I wanted to finish on one thing. Let's uh, let's because I don't have a lot of time. I'm gonna move this. Uh, Justin, you came late. You didn't see. I got my uh, I got my CPS one cover for my for my arcade board you know these things are really cool and uh they have them for the neo geo the, th the only thing is the four slot one is actually sold out right now but i want to do something that's kind of stupid i wouldn't never do this as a live stream by the way but because we're here i'll do it uh, i want to talk about this guy so let's see i'm gonna move this out of the way oh, okay hold on i don't want to scratch my acrylic well, I'm going to scratch my acrylic. So do you guys know what these are? These little boxes? It's, um, I can't remember the name of the company right now. But, you know, they give you these boxes that have, um, you know, retro game treasure. And they come with, uh, they come with different games in them. I haven't opened this up. <laughs> and... <laughs> Okay, I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of games I don't want in here. But, all right, we got Sonic 2, so I have 700 carts of Sonic 2, so that's cool. We got a PlayStation 3 game. Ar Aragon, Aragarna's Quest, Lord of the Rings. Um, looks like it uses PlayStation Move controllers that I could care less about. Ooh, Splinter Cell's cool, though. Let's see. Um, okay, <sighs> All right, we got Splinter Cell Conviction. Okay, I've never played that, so on an Xbox 360, so that could be fun. 
You guys, I need to do a first person shooter. Um, I need to do a first person sh shooter video because you have no idea. You think I'm bad at other games? You should see how bad I am at first person shooters. <laughs> like I die in one second. Uh, no, duplicates, you don't usually get duplicates because you have to go in and you, um, uh, you usually can, all right, so this is Namco Museum, so it's got Galaga, Dig Dug, Pol it's got the arcade one-up racer, just kidding, um, yeah, uh, I am gonna do the VR pinball video eventually, I keep saying it, and I, I haven't done it yet, but I really wanna do it, I have it all set up, I, I busted my PlayStation VR out of storage, yeah, this wasn't really a great... This wasn't really a great box, to be honest. We're going to toss this away. But yeah, I mean, that's a bummer about those kinds of things is the one thing is if you do go with a company like this, you can put your catalog in. But gosh, it'd take you forever. But you can put all the games you have so then they don't send you duplicates. I don't, I'm thinking actually what I'm going to do with this is maybe use the box as giveaways and stuff like that. Like maybe I'll give away some of the things. I haven't done giveaways in a while. And these are easy. Like I tend to choose these things for giveaways that are heavy. And it cost me more to ship it than the actual item. And it's kind of crazy. Uh, I don't even know, Dreamcast Kyle, how much it is per month. I, I have like a cheaper, one of the cheaper subscriptions. I'm not sure. They send like one a month. But um, every now and then they you get something good. But yeah, that's it. Did you ever get that gun trigger for the T2 virtual pinball machine you made? I saw someone design it. No, dude, Zen, I don't know. So I've been wanting that. So my T2 pinball, I wanted to have a gun trigger that looked like uh, the, the original T2 pinball machine. I don't. So, dude, if, if you if you can hook it up and send me shoot me an email, shoot me an email at retroralph1980 at gmail.com. That'd be awesome. So what do you do? What do you do is put the games you have and pick the ones you don't want and put one those as ones you have as well, even if you don't have them. That way all that's left is ones you want. Hey, what? I have two I'm too caffeinated, Jeff. That's a lot of text. You need like one sentence is all I can can consume right now. Splinter Cell is the best. Not that one, but the series need to come back. Spoiler alert on Friday's video. Lots of sprinters of Splinter Cell. Nice, dude. <sighs> okay. I'm coming down off the coffee. I gotta go. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually highly caffeinated. I know I keep shaking. I'm really caffeinated, guys. This stuff is actually really strong. I can't imagine having two cups of this. So the cool thing is I hope this I hope I can ride out this. I didn't sleep that great last night, but I hope I can ride this out through the day because I'm going to need it today. Today is going to be a super busy day. All right, Chef Dave, get to work, buddy. Have a good one. I have no idea what Justin's talking about with his lunchtime stream thing. But uh, MM, thanks for the tip on the water, bud. I got to definitely, definitely do that. I actually had some water from last night, but it's, I don't know, crusty water. All right, guys, we're going to we're going to wrap this up. Let me get uh, I, I, I go way too long on these. These are supposed to be 30 minutes. I never stick to the plan. The plan is supposed to be 30 minutes. I never stick to it. I'm sorry about that, guys. I think I ride it a, a little too long. These should be half hour, half hour uh, videos. But hey, whatever. It is what it is. My family. Thanks for coming, buddy. I appreciate it. Brad, Jeff, just play gamer. I love your theory. Just play gamer. Don't work too hard, my dude. That is my theme, buddy. No, I'm just kidding. I wish. I wish I could. I wish. I wish I could. I wish I could not work that hard sometimes. All right. What time is lunch chat? So I get. I don't know. That's Justin. I'm gonna. He's, that's on him. Arcade Eric. Thanks, buddy. MM. Thanks, my dude. Aiden. Buddy. See you later. Steve. Take care, bud. We got VC. GPS man. Ralph, please explain to one up runners Europe. I don't know what you said. It's going by too fast. All right. Ed Edward, take care, buddy. Ben, Marty McFly, Polybius 2021. Love it. Fire Island HD. Grandma's dirty socks. As disgusting as that is. Thank you, bud, for joining. Robert Johnson. Vic Vicious75. Drifter Comic. Take it easy. You too. Bob. O I F the third. I can't remember. I think you explained what that was. By the way, I owe you an email back, buddy. I'm sorry. You you had a really long email. It was very thoughtful of you, and I haven't got back to you yet. I think you sent it to Justin and I. Justin's terrible at responding to emails, so expect me to respond and not him. Uh, and then, uh, yeah. I don't know if he's still here, but he's going to love that. It's a little jab for him. Gush, 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 gush. All right. Okay, that's it. That's all. We're out. Cancel out that coffee with a gummy. <laughs> Ha <laughs>
<laughs> oh, Mike. Mike, you make me laugh, dude. You say funny. You're like full of the one-liner funny things. I don't know. It's just awesome. All right. That's it, guys. I'm I'm out. I'm going to I'm going to need I need I cannot go on a work call with with a camouflage sleeve shirt or a hat. So I got to somehow I got to somehow make this presentable. This like this nonsense. So yeah, that's it. Guys, I appreciate you joining. If 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 you can on your way out, give us a thumbs up, okay? I would definitely appreciate that. If you're new here, consider subscribing if you enjoy content like this and don't forget to uh click the little bell so you can be informed of future videos. That's it, guys. I appreciate all the support, the super chats, everything. You guys are awesome. And uh, we'll see you for this show next Monday. And I don't know what Justin has up his sleeve. So maybe that will be on later on today. I don't know. All right, guys. We will see you on the next one. Take care.